welcome to uh, this presentation. Uh, my name is Emil Flundin. Uh, I will talk a little bit about uh, OpenStreetMap and uh, how we switch license of our data. And uh, it's not limited to how we switch data. That's actually not a very big part of it. Uh, but but uh, I will also talk a little bit why we switched and uh, also what OpenStreetMap is about. Uh, and this is uh, an overview of the presentation. Uh, first I will introduce myself and um, talk a little bit about OpenStreetMap and the project. Welcome. Thanks. And uh, after that I will uh, talk about uh, our license uh, that we use for the data and also uh, a bit why we want to change and then the more concrete change process and then sum it up. So who am I? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, uh, I can mention uh, who I'm not uh, and um, uh, I'm not uh, an official OpenStreetMap uh, representative, and uh, I'm not having any leading positions within OpenStreetMap, because OpenStreetMap is, is a bit like uh, Wikipedia, it's a very, very distributed project. And uh, I'm not either a lawyer or a legal expert, but uh, I, I was asked to talk a bit about this uh, license change, because uh, the Wikipedia meetups, I, I tend to talk more about the street map than uh, Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, I, I'm, uh, I, I'm uh, involved uh, with the uh, street map since 2008. Uh, I, uh, before that, uh, I, I knew about uh, open source software. Okay. And, and, uh, and starting using uh, open source software and, uh, and uh, found about uh, Wikipedia and like that much. And, uh, but but, but I, uh, I had uh, accepted more or less that, okay, maps, that, that's an area where uh, crowd uh, sourcing or uh, open source isn't really uh, suitable. Uh, so, so uh, uh, I, I got very surprised when, when I found uh, OpenStreetMap and uh, that uh, it's actually possible to, to uh, gather uh, data in this way. So a little bit about OpenStreetMap as a project. Uh, how many of you had heard of OpenStreetMap uh, before? <laughs> that's, that's good. How, how many of you uh, have an OpenStreetMap account, user account? Not that many. Maybe, maybe half, half of you. Uh, <coughs> anyway, it's a map that anyone can edit. You, you don't have to be an expert. Uh, you, you don't uh, have to work with uh, geographical data uh, as a professional. It's much like uh, Wikipedia, uh, a Wikipedia for maps. But uh, it's not only uh, street mapping. Uh, I, I actually don't know why uh, this name was selected, but uh, anyway, we have this name now. Uh, it, it's mostly streets, and, and streets are uh, easy to map, uh, but, but uh, people add uh, any geographical data, and not, not only streets or uh, uh, data that, that you can see on the street, but that also uh, paths in a forest and, and uh, lakes and uh, most anything that, that you can find on the map. It's a worldwide uh, map, it's not limited to any uh, special area. and. Uh, What's uh, uh, special with OpenStreetMap uh, and also uh, 
why OpenStreetMap is important and and, uh, and uh, why uh, you, you don't uh, okay why well, are not uh, just using uh, Google Maps or uh, any other uh, online map already? Well, it's because it, it, this is map data. It's not only a, a picture of a map. Uh, so you, you can do most anything you like with the data, uh, and uh, and uh, all the data that we render maps of it, it's uh, uh, distributed uh, under an open license. So you, you can do most anything you like with all the data and create. Yeah, you can create uh, a, a, a map for, of your own. If you like a, a bicycle map, you, just, you, you can do it if you have the skills. Uh, first, uh, I'll just show uh, uh, our website. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, and uh, this uh, is in Gothenburg. Where we are today. Uh, so head down that it's there. Yeah. <laughs> at least, at least about uh, nice. the roller coasters and stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> it, 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 I, I don't think you find this on uh, Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a few things, but uh, I added, added something, and a few days later, someone had like uh, improved it a lot. So yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, this is just uh, one uh, rendered map. Uh, we also have uh, a few other uh, featured layers. Uh, for example, as I mentioned, uh, the bicycle map, uh, where uh, bicycle uh, uh, streets are highlighted in a special way, or a public transport map. And uh, this is, I think it's uh, uh, some, a, a big company making this. Yeah, there was a big map before OpenStreetMap, and they switched back in. MapQuest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they uh, also have a humanitarian. Uh, but, but also, you, you can uh, select uh, the closer on uh, a uh, map and uh, and uh, have a look at map data, map data itself. Uh, oh, this screen is very big. Okay, for example, here's a, it's here is a park, yeah, and uh, this uh, it has the name Vasaparken. This is uh, this is the restaurant. Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> The, the data is there and, and it's available for you. You can do most anything you like. Uh, yeah, this is where we are. Okay, uh, a brief post, oh, sir. <coughs> yeah, um, I, I, I saw the, the restaurant there on the screen. When you have a spot like restaurants and stores and so on, do you have the ambition to do that? Uh, cover the whole city, or is it just people's like favorites that you have? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> we we uh, I think we strive to be as uh, uh, to cover uh, most anything, but but, but uh, it, it's uh, it, it's not uh, the central. Uh, Organization adding all, all this, so, so, so people add what, what, what they want to be on the map, and uh, of course I, I, would, I would like yeah, all restaurants to be on the map, but, but uh, what, what, what's on the map is that's on the map. It's, it's a bit different for different users how much they care about such things, or yeah. So, so uh, uh, for example, uh, the Germans, uh, they are uh, very uh, they. they uh, they, they, they map most anything, yeah, and uh, I think yeah, uh, lamps on the streets and uh, <laughs> pa paper bins and uh, uh, well, the, the detail level is, is uh, different on different areas, but, but uh, in, in general, uh, the Germans, uh, they were very... Well, you're both getting the streets right, you get the next, continue with the hobby. 
And we, we can kind of yeah. see where Mac nerds are living because <laughs> that's where the level of detail yeah, is and, crazy. And, and uh, <laughs> right, right now, uh, there are white spots on the map and uh, very big white spots. Uh, and uh, well, c cities are in general more maps than uh, rural areas. Uh, um, but, but, uh, the big part is how good the big area photos are there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll come to that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, um, w w well, our uh, aerial uh, imagery, uh, it, it's easier to uh, reach a high um, uh, detail level. Okay, yeah, just a quick question. So, is there an API as well? So, you can, for example, go uh, programmatically, programmatically grab the all of the countries in Europe? Yes, oh. there is. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, the, the, the project, you, you can say that the project uh, started in 2004 uh, where, when uh, Steve Coast, uh, uh, I think it's uh, an English guy, uh, he, uh, he presented the, the ID uh, of an open map uh, and uh, registered uh, this domain. Um, but the, the first edits uh, to the map, uh, I, I traced it back to 2005, at least. <laughs> and, and those were in, in Great Britain. And uh, in 2006, uh, the OpenStreetMap Foundation was uh, registered. Uh, it, it's uh, convenient to have uh, one, one organization uh, that, that, that can be uh, part of when, when, when uh, we want to. Uh, when we want to have uh, web hosting, etc., uh, we need to have s such an organization. In 2006, uh, this uh, slipper map, uh, that's uh, the map uh, we have here, uh, you, you can uh, drag it something like, like this. But it, it was created in 2006. Welcome. Uh, and uh, in 2007, uh, we, we the, the first I, I don't know if these were the first discussions, but, but at least on uh, on uh, the uh, OpenStreetMap conference of 2007, this was discussed the first time uh, to, to change to another license because uh, people realized that uh, the current license we had. Uh, I come back. Uh, I will come back to that, but uh, it, it wasn't uh, really. Okay. It, it wasn't uh, really suitable for, for the data we had. And uh, actually, last year, uh, the license switch uh, was complete. So, so it uh, took a while for us to uh, complete this. Uh, the sources we're using for map data, uh, it has uh, classically been uh, track logs from uh, when moving around with a GPS receiver, creating uh, logs. Uh, so, so if you uh, take your bike and uh, travel along uh, the streets in, in the town, you can, from that, uh, create the map data. Uh, and I'll show a bit of the such GPS data. And you'll uh, quite often combine this with photos and Notes, etc. Uh, and um, we also, uh, uh, for mapping at lakes, uh, seas, uh, land, uh, it's uh, more, more convenient to uh, trace from uh, imagery, um, like uh, public domain uh, satellite images. Uh, and we, we have been using uh, Landsat uh, photos a lot. Uh, but uh, since 2010, Microsoft actually, <laughs> you believe it or not, that they uh, uh, since since 2010 that they let us use their uh, aerial imagery to trace uh, all the street map data from. Mm -hmm. uh, and and that, that has uh, improved uh, the, the map a lot, uh, at least in uh, cities and, and uh, areas where there where we have this. Uh, 
in coverage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, mostly I think that embed uh, has been outside cities mm. much more. Because yeah. if you look at uh, all of over, half of Oros and half of Schoen is very good, half is bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it's because exactly. they are a line there. Exactly. Where they <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's too far up on the sea. They yeah. are the problem with <laughs> So there is no big image. And yeah. there are lots of maps. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's the same uh, uh, from the, 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 the area in Skåne from where I come. Uh, uh, half the town is uh, covered by, by this imagery. But how do you control? What source the user who adds the data use? I mean, I could uh, just grab some images from any or Google yeah, Maps. You, 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 well, no you, one you, can you really can. prove. But uh, yeah. people, maybe if you do it uh, smart, maybe no one will notice. But but uh, uh, maybe someone will uh, get uh, suspicious and, and uh, okay, that it is. Looks a bit uh, too too like it, it's too much like uh, the uh, any road maps or whatever. Uh, I mean, the, the, the houses are there in real life anyway, so I can claim that I've been there and well, actually. Actually, I think it's very very easy because if you see a uh, Nero map, it's wrong. At least it's so at home around where I live. Yeah, and, and uh, from w w what I heard, uh, I think uh, uh, map providers sometimes add. Uh, I, I don't know if uh, if this is true or not, but, but the, uh, from what I heard, uh, sometimes uh, map providers uh, intentionally add uh, errors to the, their maps so, so they they can find uh, if uh, people are using their maps. Google Maps for the Lake City in Scotland, where it was from long fascinating. Yeah. And uh, especially in the, the U.S. and uh, in uh, the Netherlands, um, uh, th th there are uh, there is uh, public domain data that, that has been imported into OpenStreetMap, and uh, some people like it, some people like it not to, to import data, uh, but but, but uh, public domain data has been okay to import. Uh, and uh, well. The, the data itself, uh, it consists of uh, nodes, ways, and the relations. Uh, the the simple, most simple part of the map data is that's nodes. Uh, and uh, well, th that's uh, one single position and uh, one or a few tags. Uh, for example, uh, fuel stations, libraries, post boxes, trees, etc. And uh, some some uh, objects uh, are, are drawn as uh, ways, and uh, they are made up by uh, one or, or two or, or many nodes, and and you add uh, some tags to it. For example, roads, paths, power lines, roads, buildings, and, and uh, you, you can also make make a difference if, if the way is uh, closed or not, uh, if uh, ends where it begins, and uh, that's the case for buildings and lakes, etc. Uh, relations, uh, that's a bit more complex, but, but uh, you, you need that if you, uh, if you want to add uh, buildings with the holes in, uh, or uh, courtyards, uh, or if you want to uh, say that, uh, okay, from, from this road, you, you, you may not uh, turn left into this road, uh, turn restriction. The routes or uh, uh, always in mapping with um, relations, and, and, and I, I will show more more of this uh, uh, in, in uh, the editor later. And, and uh, quite often uh, objects uh, they evolve. Uh, so so for example, uh, a parking maybe is first added as a, just one one node, and uh, the tags this is a parking. Uh, and later on, uh, for example, if uh, the source uh, data is improved uh, with, uh, for example, aerial imagery, uh, so someone uh, might uh, trace it uh, and draw it as a, an area. 
and uh, change it into that way. Uh, you, you can edit the map in uh, several ways. Uh, what, what you see on the website, uh, uh, I think we have two editors uh, right now, uh, one uh, JavaScript and one uh, Flash editor. I think actually for Flash, one is also available. It is? Okay. So we have some work to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have, uh, I, I'll show this uh, in a moment. And, and uh, you, you can also edit the map data using uh, standalone applications. I, I, I use that. I, I use uh, this Java editor. That's a Java uh, application. And uh, this Mercato, uh, I haven't used at all. Uh, and uh, there are a, a lot of applications you, you can use to edit the data, but, but uh, these are, I, I think these are the, among the most popular. Uh, so let's go back to the uh, website. And t to edit the data, uh, it's a bit tricky. Uh, if you, if you uh, click edit up here, or if you, uh, you click this drop down, uh, you can select uh, what application to edit. Uh, and I'll just uh, uh, select uh, this uh, online editor now. So, uh, and here as a background, I think uh, it is being right now. And uh, well, this is uh, one object on the map. I think this is a bit tricky. <laughs> um, and uh, well, since Gothenburg is uh, quite well mapped, uh, it's a bit crowded. So, but uh, for example, if the <laughs> anyway, if I want to add a building here, uh, I'll do that. Uh, I'll just, uh, oh, here is a building. <laughs> but how often are these uh, images uh, you know, using as update? I mean, hidden, for example, they have moved the party places from one corner to another corner, etc. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's a risk that you say, okay, now I do the mapping here, and it's an old uh, picture. Yeah, have actually to go and that's see true. what's, is it the real thing? Uh, sometimes th 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 that's a problem. Uh, when, uh, when uh, well, what, what, what's we call armchair of mappers, uh, <laughs> they, uh, they, they just, uh, oh, uh, this is uh, on the picture and draw it, uh, even if someone uh, else already has uh, changed it to what was on the ground. Um, but but, but uh, we, we, we say that, okay, you, you should map, map what was on the ground. So, so it, it's best it to, to be there in, uh, uh, in personal and uh, so, so you know what, what you're mapping. But uh, yeah, that, that's a minor problem. Do yeah. you have a key for the history that I can look? How did this parking place look uh, five years ago? Yeah, th th there are tools. Uh, um, uh, th there are no, no good tools, I, I would say, uh, today to uh, illustrate that. But, but, but uh, there are tools to, uh, to uh, browse the history. Uh, and uh, for, for each object, you, you can see uh, the, the history, what, what has changed, uh, what nodes it, a way it consists of and what tags uh, has changed uh, over time. But you mean you don't mean like changes in the the data that are uploaded, but you mean like changes what the actual. Yeah, I mean you would have to distinguish changes. Is this is correction to the map, and this is a change because they moved this building or parking place. Uh, more people working with it. Of course, I think that isn't. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> it, 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 when you add it and, and you uh, upload the data you have uh, edited, you, you uh, type a, a message. Uh, so, so if someone has uh, uh, written, uh, it, this is uh, this is surveyed from uh, the ground, 
uh, someone else who gets there later uh, might, and, and finds that it doesn't match the, the image, um, maybe, maybe they, they will uh, check one once uh, in real life before editing. But, uh, well, uh, history, it, it's not as uh, easy to see as on Wikipedia what, what has changed, unfortunately. But if, if I remove a building, that data will still be in the database, but just will be like inactivated, so the renderer knows that it should uh, render the building. Yeah, that, uh, that's right. Uh, and uh, it, it, it is possible to uh, roll back uh, change sets as well. Uh, but but it, it, it's not as easy as in it's Wikipedia. Much more yeah, it is. So but but, but, but uh, fortunately, we, we don't have uh, uh, as much uh, problem with uh, with uh, vandalism and uh, such as Wikipedia. I, I don't think so. Uh, that's not a big problem. Spam problems like advertising in the desert or something. Uh, I, I it, it. No, it, it's not a big problem. No. I, I never seen it myself. It's too hard to edit. Uh, <laughs> 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 it, 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 it might be a bigger big problem that, that, uh, that the newcomers uh, that, that they uh, change something that they uh, that they don't, don't uh, notice that, that they uh, move uh, a whole building uh, or something and uh, well <laughs> it, it takes a, a bit of time to uh, to get good at editing even if the, the principle it, it's quite simple. But one often see if newcomers moving everything so they fix the image, even if it actually isn't as the image, because the image is wrong. Mm. Mm. The background images are often a few meters off. Yeah. We have to adjust for that. Is there, is there a way to, to move the image, uh, if you know? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, also, uh, because I talked yeah. talk to a friend who said that area was hard because the image was off. If it is a common problem, yeah, 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 it might be a feature I that you can the adjust the image. I, I, I haven't done, do. done it myself, but, but I, I, I think in, in, uh, it depends on what, what editor you are using as well. But, but I, I think uh, there are tools to adjust for, for that. There are also a shared database for image adjustment in Yale and Buggy, so you can yeah. get others. Wait, then there is also the problem with depending on who is mapping a building, for example, that is really high. Do you map after the roof contours or the ground contours? Yes. Yeah, that, uh, depending on the image also, it, it could be a meter off in any direction. That's true. Okay, uh, that, that was uh, this editor. Uh, I'll go back to the uh, view. And, uh, and uh, when you have edited the map, this rendering is it's usually updated within uh, some a few minutes I, I would say uh, previously it, it took maybe one week for the map to actually change uh, and uh, and especially newcomers uh, they uh, edited the map and uh, got a bit surprised when they saw that oh it hasn't changed but uh, notice, uh, it, it takes usually a few minutes. Maybe, maybe you, you have to uh, re reload the, the, the page uh, harder and clear the cache, uh, etc., to, to find it has changed as well. Um, the, the editor I, I'm using is uh, this one, JLS, uh, which is a Java editor. Uh, uh, I'm, I will just show. Uh, that I collected uh, previously. So th th this is uh, uh, a GPS trace uh, I've done uh, while well, uh, going by bike to Tostanda. And uh, it's combined with uh, photos I took. And uh, there, are, there are tools to uh, combine photos with, uh, with the GPS traces uh, and uh, determine the, the position where the photo was taken. Uh, that's quite useful, I think. So, so if we download the data for uh, this area, uh, it 
actually looks like this. And, and I, I think uh, you have a bit, bit more control here uh, than in, in the online editor. Uh, you can see where I uh, went by by and uh, the streets. Uh, this is actually a cycleway. It's a bridge over this road. So, and uh, all, all these uh, yellow dots, do you see them? Uh, that, that's nodes. So, so th this node, see, it's just a position, it has no tags. Uh, and this node, I think it has tags, yeah. So that's a bus stop. And uh, this ways, uh, they uh, consist of several uh, nodes and they also have tags like this. Yeah, and and uh, why, why I show this, it, that's because I, I want you to, to see what, what the actual, actual data looks like. Because th that is what we license uh, and, and uh, what, what, what we want to protect with our license. <laughs> uh, I, I can uh, show uh, the, the Bing imagery here as well. It was, it was pretty good. Okay. <coughs> um, the, the usage of the map. Um, well, it, it's obviously uh, you, you can make you can make maps uh, of it, <laughs> uh, render maps, uh, online maps, offline maps, and. Uh, Print on paper, etc. Uh, and uh, it, it's uh, what I showed uh, on uh, on uh, the, the OpenStreetMap web page. But that, uh, you, you can also find the OpenStreetMap data used for uh, maps uh, on uh, many other web web uh, sites. Uh, you, you can use it for uh, routing uh, and. Uh, it, some uh, people yeah, have uh, made, well, they, they use it to uh, uh, navigate using satellite, satellite navigation uh, and uh, make, make software for uh, their phones and uh, use as uh, uh, sat nav. Uh, yeah. uh, are the data on the OpenStreetMap uh, updated more often than? Like the major satellite navigation companies, for instance, it feels like it. I, I don't know if I changed right. or they. Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, quite often uh, the OpenStreetMap data is uh, updated uh, quicker than uh, than many of the other map providers. I, I think so. I think OpenStreetMap ways is the two quickest thing, and after that comes all the big ones. Yeah. yeah. On the other hand, ways is now Google, so probably Google will be quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they will uh, Google updates that was one of the best of big ones and they were about one month to two months out there. Mm. Uh, Waste and Google OpenStreetMap is usually when something happens within a day. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, so, so uh, I, I think uh, uh, a, a bigger issue for uh, OpenStreetMap, that, that's a coverage maybe, uh, to cover all the, those white spots uh, and to get good coverage uh, also in rural areas. But when you say something happens, uh, I mean, uh, to build a new road or a new way, new that road, takes, new but that takes quite about, long. Uh, road crack, being destroyed by some reason. Yeah. Uh, the first, there was a big uh, accident in the US mm. uh, where they had a bridge falling down. Mm -hmm. OpenStreetMap was updated 10 minutes after. <laughs> Waze, one hour. Google got the news because there was one week off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that's about the, well that was big, that was the I-6 somewhere mm -hmm. that was uh, falling down in the river. Okay. So that, that's the speed we're talking about. Mm -hmm. well, that's a big uh, change. Yeah, yeah but, but all, all this, that, that's uh, examples. Uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, well, uh, the, the coverage is, uh, uh, the, the, there are areas that, that are not, not updated as quick uh, as uh, some. Yeah. I think you, you need to be aware of something. Uh, there are already some companies use uh, OpenStreetMap uh, in their navigation. 
project. Yeah, we have uh, M uh, President MapQuest, yeah. it's a big American company. You have Apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's true. They're I, not I the main you... map, because that's a Tompa map. That's why it's red. You can find that in, in the attribution uh, yeah. of OpenStreetMap. I don't know which part of the world they have used yeah. OpenStreetMap for. Yeah. But it's not that uh, but it's not the big part, because most of it is Tompa map. I, I think if you look at uh, North Korea, uh, I think uh, OpenStreetMap uh, they have the, the, the best, better than Google at least. <laughs> 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 um, Do you have any North Korean users? There is that uh, couch uh, mapping. I, I, I haven't uh, investigated uh, much, but, but uh, apparently s someone has uh, edited in uh, North Korea. They actually they are developing their own iPad, I think. I think we need, need to move on uh, because uh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, and, and I have to uh, got to the, the license token. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, some statistics um, that shows uh, the, the uh, registered users of the uh, stream. It's quite uh, recent. But uh, we're a growing community. Um, people get to know about OpenStreetMap and uh, uh, create user accounts, uh, and then we grow quite quick. Uh, this is uh, if you look at uh, the number of users as compared to the added um, trace data from uh, well. TBX up uploads uh, at uh, the, the trace I, I showed before. Um, it, it's not uh, increasing as fast, but, but uh, uh, New Year's users may, may, maybe they don't, don't add uh, as much data as uh, all the old uh, early adopters. Uh, well, the, the number of nodes and the number of uh, ways and number of relations they're increasing as well. So I think we're a bit over two billions now, not number of nodes. Uh, well, the, the, the number of uh, active users. Uh, um, it, it's uh, it looks like this. So so. Um, the percentage of the users actually uh, contributing um, edits. Um, it, it has it has has been more than where it is today, but, but uh, since uh, since the, the number of users uh, goes up, uh, I think we we should expect uh, that, that uh, people create a user account, make one edit, and then never uh, use their account ever again. So uh, the, the if you uh, draw it like this, uh, and uh, it says here that uh, I think this was 2009 uh, that uh, just 31 users uh, had uh, added 50% of, of the map data, and that, that is uh, mostly uh, import imported data from uh, uh, the US, uh, etc. So if I think the, the 10,000 most active users have added, well, is it 97, 98 percent of the data. I, I guess uh, the, the, the numbers maybe are, are similar to Wikipedia. I, I, I don't know. I haven't compared it. Uh, but 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 it, it is a bit important uh, when we're coming to the, the license change because uh, I, I'll get to that. <laughs> Um, the, the license we had before uh, was a uh, Creative Commons license, uh, share like uh, attribution, share like license, and uh, there were a number of problems with it. Uh, and uh, the first was that, and I, I just got got this from the OpenStreetMap Foundation. Uh, it's nothing I have come up with myself. So, so it's more or less just copied from the OpenStreetMap Foundation website. 
we, we have a lack of copyright protection. It, the, the, the data we want to protect it isn't actually as protected as we would like it to be. And uh, th that is because uh, the, the Creative Commons license uh, relies on, on the uh, uh, copyright law. And uh, that the copyright law uh, protects creative content. And uh, it, it's suitable for uh, documents, pictures, and photos like that. That, that, that is considered creative in some way. At, at least in the US, it, it is like this. It, it, it's a bit uh, different uh, over the world, but, but uh, it, it, it's bad enough if it, 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 it wouldn't be protected enough in, in the US. Um, and uh, it, it, it wasn't really meant to use for facts and, and data and uh, uh, this kind of data we were using in the treatment. But another issue is uh, it, it was that uh, it, it was difficult to combine the data together with uh, other data that, that, that was not compatible with the, the Creative Commons license. And uh, that was, was because uh, the Creative Commons uh, uh, terms uh, it, it, uh, could be well if you made a map, uh, the, the map, uh, the rendered map, uh, would also have to be uh, a Creative Commons licensed. Uh, and if you used uh, other data as well in the map, uh, it had to be, to be uh, compatible with the, the Creative Commons license, and, and it, it could. It made it uh, difficult to use the, the data if you wanted to uh, keep legal. Um, <coughs> and uh, and uh, it, it um, the, the share like uh, affected the, the map tiles. So, so it, it, for example, um, I think it's that's, that's here. But, but uh, if yeah, if someone. Uh, for example, Google it, it's a, uh, an example on the uh, website. Uh, if they would copy all the OpenStreetMap data to their uh, map creator uh, application and uh, and uh, they continue to improve the data, uh, they, they could continue to uh, release uh, Creative Commons licensed uh, rendered maps. Uh, so the, the end re results would be Creative Commons license, but, but the, the map data itself wouldn't be fed back to the OpenStreetMap. And uh, attribution, <laughs> it, it, it was a bit difficult because uh, uh, the, the Creative Commons licensed uh, license it, it could be interpreted uh, as uh, it required uh, that all. Uh, all uh, contributors to OpenStreetMap should be uh, attributed uh, w when you're printing a map, for example, and it, it made it very, very difficult to make maps. Uh, and, uh, and the OpenStreetMap uh, community itself, uh, many years, uh, ignored this uh, because it, it wasn't possible to put all, all the names of the contributors uh, on the website uh, together with the map. And uh, if someone else would like to uh, make a map uh, from OpenStreetMap data, oh, it, it was uh, a bit difficult as well. I've been thinking about the same thing with Wikipedia, actually. Because <coughs> if you copy, uh, if you use a page from Wikipedia, you can, it, well, actually, you should also have a page like just every user who has done anything. Someone added a collected a spelling error or something, you should actually mm. contribute, um, like, I would say, attribute them too. So you can just yeah. say, I got this from Wikipedia, I got this from Wikipedia, and this page was made by blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. And you can have, like, a hundred people making Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, actually, I don't know that. Oh, that's a kind of popular role of printing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, one more problem was that, uh, well, it, it was difficult to know uh, what what was a, a derived work of the data and uh, what wasn't. So, so if you want to make a book with uh, OpenStreetMap based map, uh, 
it, it was difficult to know if, if only the, the map itself was, uh, if it should be released down or with this Creative Commons license or uh, the whole, um, all the layers that uh, are used together with this map and, or the whole book. Maybe. It, it, and it, it was uh, difficult because uh, people couldn't uh, just you know, get contact, contact all uh, contributors uh, to discuss this. <coughs> and uh, as I said before, uh, it, it was first discussed in uh, 2007, uh, this issue of uh, the formal license. So in uh, 2008, the licensing working group was formed, uh, and uh, it, it should uh, come up with a, a, a better way to do this. In uh, two, 2009, uh, the, a new license was presented, uh, and, uh, and in 2009 also the Basrika Foundation decided to proceed with this change. So, in uh, the, these were the, the new contributor terms. Uh, we had an entirely new license uh, designed to be uh, uh, usable w with uh, this kind of map data. And uh, contributors have to grant uh, the OpenStreetMap Foundation the right to, to uh, Relicense the, the content because uh, we, we wouldn't. Uh, it, it would be difficult to um, change license, and, and th th that was one big problem we had now, because we, we we had to contact all contributors to change license, and uh, well, it, it's quite obvious it, it's not even possible to do that. Um, and uh, well change license so it would be possible as well and the attribution would be easier. Uh, the, the, this is the open database license we're using now. Uh, I'll just uh, jump on this. Uh, the, the, the concrete uh, change process uh, began in 2010 when the new contributors uh, were, uh, they had to accept the, the new contributor terms. Uh, I, I have uh, exceeded the time now, but uh, oh, you, you can go whenever you like. Uh, I'll try to uh, finish in a few minutes. And uh, in, uh, later on, uh, existing contributors uh, were asked to uh, accept the new terms. And uh, the, the tricky part was to actually contact all the, the existing contributors. Contributors, and uh, in, in Sweden, uh, we uh, we uh, had a hard work uh, doing that, and, and <coughs> a, a guy called uh, Peter Schinstam, I think, uh, he uh, made a website where where that work was uh, managed. Um, and uh, after a while. Uh, Accounts and not having accepted uh, the new uh, contributor terms uh, couldn't edit anymore. And uh, finally, uh, the, the the license uh, change actually what was made when when uh, data that, that wasn't made by anyone that had accepted the terms was removed from uh, the map. And uh, this was done last year. Uh, it was finished in September. So how much data got lost? Actually, not, not that much, uh, after all. Uh, th this is worldwide numbers. Um, yeah. And uh, I, I, I'm, it's uh, actually a bit surprising that there's not more um, got lost. But, but uh, of the nodes, uh, over 98% uh, could be rescued. and. Uh, uh, only 1.2% uh, got uh, lost in total. So some nodes uh, were impaired. Uh, for example, if uh, one one user had accepted, but that's another lating editing the node, and uh, then didn't accept the new license. 
so it, it uh, wasn't that bad after all. Um, I, I was going to show uh, the numbers for, for different countries, but I'm not going to do that. Um, okay, summary. Uh, OpenStreetMap is a free editable map of the world. Uh, and it, it's uh, rapidly growing. And uh, with a formal license, we, uh, we stopped the good guys from using the data and ma made it uh, difficult for them. But, but the, the, the data wasn't actually protected as we wanted it to be. But uh, with, with a new license, uh, we, we have, uh, I, I think we have achieved uh, a better protection for, for the data and at the same time made it easier to, to actually make this open data. Just, just a question, yeah. How did you contact, try to contact the existing contributors? When, 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 you, you, re um, when, when you register, you're, you're uh, uh, typing in your email address. But uh, not, uh, not all uh, users uh, watch that address, apparently. Um, so, and, and some people, well, uh, they, 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 they don't. Uh, Maybe some uh, some users don't care anymore, or, or, or they uh, well disappear. Mm. Or, uh, but was it just by email, or were there like local groups trying to find a few um, people by other means? Uh, uh, <laughs> some some users uh, we we managed to contact, uh, but by some some more work. But but, but it, it was it, it's tricky. Mm. You know, we, if you find a username that is also used in other projects. Maybe you, you can go other ways to uh, to contact them, but, but uh, mainly it was the email address. But the, that extra work was that done like on a voluntary basis by yeah yeah okay. So it, it was is, not. Uh, I, and and I, I, I was one one of the guys who didn't try to uh, find yeah. users to. I guess you did that for like contributors who had contrib contributed a lot of. Data. Yeah, the, the, the main focus was, was first on, on, on contributors with the uh, made many edits, but uh, I, I think we, we uh, at least we, we uh, tried to contact all users uh, and uh, we, we, we got responses from uh, quite many, but, but not all. Mm. Yeah. I have one question on the new, like how does it can you say something about how it works in this scenario that Google <coughs> gets the data, improves the data, and publishes over time? Uh, yeah, uh, it, it says, uh, it, I, I think it should handle that. Uh, I, I, I don't know the details. This is uh, the license uh, time thing in, in short. So, so you, 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 you can share and, uh, and copy and distribute the database. You, you can produce works from the database and uh, you can modify and transform and build up on the database uh, if you uh, attribute any public use of the database or works produced from the database uh, as uh, specified in the license. Yeah. Yep. So is this uh, the specific uh, license? For OpenStreetMap or, or <coughs> other projects? Also it, it was created because of the need in OpenStreetMap, uh, from my understanding. But it, uh, you, you can use it for uh, for other data databases as well. And, and actually, I, I don't know uh, how, how many products are using this uh, license today. But, but uh, you can use it for uh, because it, it was. Uh, uh, a, a new of its kind license. Uh, no one had uh, uh, done like this before. Who did the? Yeah. Who did the work? Did, did you were you in contact with some free software, free law center, or some of these known lawyers? Uh, actually, I don't know uh, the details, but, but uh, the, the I think it was mostly people. Uh, uh, involved with OpenStreetMap uh, doing it, uh, and, and this license working group uh, of the OpenStreetMap Foundation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
I think there's a lawyer behind the German company that did much of the work. Yeah, and, and, and the, and the uh, lawyer, lawyers were contacted to, uh, and they were asked if, uh, if it is uh, correct, can, can we do like this and uh, such. Okay. Thank you. In a few minutes, I will be.